You. 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 Are totally awesome. Welcome to You Totally Awesome, a podcast devoted to catching up with some of the amazing people around us, finding out what they've been up to lately. My name's Aaron, and today we're joined by co-captain of uh, Brown Budmash, the South Asian fusion dance team, Sri Sridharan. Thanks for joining us today, Sri. Yeah, no problem. Of course. Um, so, you guys have a show coming up, and, and maybe for the audience members who don't quite know, can you explain what exactly the type of dance you guys do is? Okay, so the type of dance that we specialize in is uh, South Asian fusion dance. So what that means is we incorporate styles from South Asia, such as uh, Bhangra, Bharatanatyam, Kathak, um, Gaga Ras, uh, some of the, the more folk dances, Bollywood, of course. Yes, of course, Bollywood. Uh, yeah, Bollywood, which is not even really a style. It's oh, it's a style for us. It kind of borrows. It kind of borrows from everything and forms into this like filmy type. Yeah. Uh, style, and then we bring it together with a lot of the Western styles that uh, I'm sure a lot of us were familiar with when we were growing up, like hip hop, the Macarena, Macarena, yeah, 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 yeah. modern, that sort of thing. Any, anything that uh, sort of. We are interested in. Okay, got it. Yes. So, in the past, what kind of dance has that been? I mean, or well, maybe this is better. Uh, what kind of music do you guys dance to usually? So, um, we usually have a, a music chair, that sort of person who okay. is usually versed in both the Western and like Eastern sides okay. of music. So, in terms of Bhangra, uh, we usually pick Punjabi songs because Bhangra is from Punjab and that's the sort of music that is. Uh, most natural for that sort of thing. And okay. then for Bharatanatyam, of course, you have like Tamil Carnatic songs and that sort of thing. But of course, we get a lot more uh, diverse in the sense that when you have classical songs, you can pick sometimes uh, techno music is at the correct speed. Right. Or for Bhangra, if you have like really a uh, little bit up tempo hip hop that can get in this, like that works for Bhangra as well. Like, and like DMX, Ludacris, like that's like the speed for Bhangra. Okay, yeah. Not necessarily like that's the kind of songs you should use, but yeah. Uh, but it's more of like the rappers of, of the yeah, Western, of course. Western there are certain American speeds. rappers and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. There are certain speeds that work for every style Got that, that make it look the most natural. So, of course, finding Western music that is at that speed and also kind of matches the music in terms of minor key, major key, Got the types of beats. Getting technical on our audience. Really they're, they're probably not going to understand all Absolutely, that, but yeah. some of them that do. Um, so, you know, generally, the, more than what I was asking you, so you do mix, you know, the Indian Absolutely. music yeah. with the with the American music or the, the English music. Not only for our own satisfaction, but I think for the satisfaction of the audience. Very much so. I've seen a lot of their shows. I'm a big Mosh fan, of course, and um, they, uh, you guys are great. Uh, they, they very much tailor to, to the, what the, a lot of what the audience is interested in, which is great for us, at least. Um, and uh, can you tell us just how you got interested in Budmash initially, or in, in South Asian dance initially? Did you come to Brown interested in it, doing, having done dance, or is it something that you just picked up while you were here? Oh uh, no, I've never done dance before. Actually, I'm very, wow. I'm still kind of thrown aback about how I um, ended up in this place. Yeah. But uh, I said when I was a kid, I listened to South Asian music all the time. Okay. So I love music, and that's uh, definitely probably something that helped out. But as a kid, I played baseball and just did math competitions in this my <laughs> career. When I came to Brown, I thought I was going to continue playing baseball. Uh, tried walking on the team. They didn't have any space aside from just recruits. Yeah. What position did you play? Pitcher. So okay. Lefty pitcher. Got it. Got it. Um, me and a bunch of my friends, including one of my roommates, tried out. And uh, I think nine of us tried out. Oh, but wow. But straight up was just like, no one. we'll try you out just to try you out, mm -hmm. but we're not going to take anyone. Okay. Mistake, um, mistake on their path. But lucky for Ben Mosh, because then... Yeah, right. So I went to the activities fair, and mm -hmm. I saw this guy, Anshul, which I'm sure some of you guys know. Yeah. And he was just like, hey, you look like you play tennis. I play tennis, you should try for Ben Mosh. And I was like, I'm not sure what the logical progression there was. But, okay, like, I'll try it. I'll try out. <laughs> yeah, of course. So I was like, you know, I like this kind of music, I'll go try, I'll yeah. try dancing. My mom was a dancer when okay. uh, some of my relatives teach dance, but I personally never danced. Never danced. So I went to the tryouts and bombed, and I was like, well, all right. So I didn't get on the Budmash team, I didn't get on the baseball team, like, what do I do? And I decided I'd just, you know, focus on one of these two things or find something new entirely to do while yeah. I'm here at Browns. And uh, just amongst my group of friends, it was easier to focus on learning to dance more because okay. people, you know, they go to dance parties, you pick up moves. That's kind of just how it started. Like, I went to parties with them just every weekend, just, like, slowly picking a move here or there. And then Indian dancers. Yeah. Okay. Like, Salsa had plenty of parties. Okay. Salsa is the South Asian yes. student... What's, what's the same South Asian student... South Asian Students Association. Um, so they throw a lot of... Um, parties. They have, you know, they have, like, Diwali, Dinner Dance, and, like, all these uh, festivals. 
So, because when I go to dances, what I think is that you know I do like the, you know, the grind and the. Well, I don't know about the grind, but I just well besides just you know sitting in the side corner, I, I kind of just no, not at all. Just man. You are the powerhouse of the dance. No, board. stop! But you, you <laughs> were learning actual moves. It sounds yeah, like. but I never really consciously went to the point where I was like, I'm going to a party to learn, learn to moves. dance. I just went there and yeah. I was like, all right, let's just have some fun. And then as along the way, I learned some moves, and then through like the coercion That's of some so of the cool. people. Uh, who were older than me, they were like, you know, you probably have a better shot now. Yeah, I've tried So, it. yeah, me and Amit, actually, the week before school ended, before winter break, yeah. we got together and we were like, all right, let's maybe practice a bit okay. and see if we can get to the point where we could try, try out. For so then lunch. we went on winter break, came back, practiced hard for about maybe a day or two, Yeah. tried out, and we both made it. And then we were like, yeah, you did. Holy crap, like, this is all right, awesome. And, and it's developed into being now the co-captain of the, the team. Yeah, like, yeah, people graduate now. and we... Uh, stepped up. Yeah, we stepped up and I think things are going well. Yeah, can you tell us some of the compliment, accomplishments that your, your group has had? Because you guys have had some amazing. Uh, yeah, that's, um, that's let's, a let's brag for you guys some, a little bit. Let's brag for you guys. As a group, we've had uh, several accomplishments. I'd say maybe specifically since I was um, like in a more leadership prominent leader. role. Uh, we've gone to, I think now, three competitions, okay. whereas before we had gone to one. And I think that's a function of both us just being a more mature team and mm -hmm. being ready for the competitions, but also, like, uh, I think the co-captains went a little bit ambitious and crazy, but yeah. we put in a lot of work, and thankfully a lot of it paid off. We went yeah. to a competition in Florida, Dance Fusion, where we got second. Wow. And in Philly Fest, that, we got, that was this year, we got third. Just the big one, right? That is one of the big ones, yeah. yeah. And then uh, South Asian Showdown, that was also this year, we got second. That's, you guys so, are incredible. Yeah. And two out of three of those competitions feed into this national championship called Bollywood America, which oh, is wow. this coming Saturday. It's okay. Exactly. Okay, got it. But uh, that's very prestigious. You get lots of thousands of dollars. Lots, lots of thousands. Yeah. Not just thousands. Yeah, no, no. Lots, lots of thousands. thousands. Three that's thousand, awesome. four thousand dollars to win. Yeah. Okay. So you and so you you never did dance before, but you know, it hit you when you came to Brown that you wanted to try this out. Yeah. And, and now it, it's it really, really just... um took the place of the kind of athleticism that I was looking for. Got it's it. This sort okay. of dance. Like I never could have survived in a, a modern dance setting. Right. right. Because I didn't have the training for it right. or the interest personally. Okay. But, but this type of dance, right? Yeah, brought together, yeah, mm -hmm. being athletic, the music I love to right. dance to. Right, and, 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 you know, and also you guys, you know, collaborate with, the, with some, some other groups, like the yeah, high school yeah, group yeah. here, the, 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 uh, and the, the, the B-Boys, the, um, we have the with break the, uh, dancing boys. Yeah, we've collaborated with Mespa, with Impulse, with B-Boys, with Tycho. I'm trying right, to is Taiko a... Uh, Taiko is not a dance group. Taiko okay. is the, um, the Japanese drumming group. They got it. Taiko got dance. it. And we once did a uh, fusion dance piece where we did... Uh, turn remember the styles. I think it was Garba, while well, they had drums on stage. And they were oh, that's drums. awesome. Yeah, it was to the song Osaya from Slumdog Millionaire. Actually. Okay, got I remember it. that, yeah. So you've, you've done this, you never did it before, but you've done it throughout your career, Brandon. It's really been a big part of your life here, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. yeah. do, you, do you plan on pursuing any sort of dance in the future? I mean, next year I'm going to humble brag for, for uh, Shriya just a little bit. He's uh, going to UPenn to do a uh, PhD in neuroscience, correct? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so do they have any sort of you know outlet for you to... Yeah. Continue South Asian fusion dance? They do, actually. They have um, two dance teams in the area. One oh, is with wow. UPenn and one is with this team, Broad Street. Okay. Bachas, who is actually one of like the leading champs right Wow, now. okay. So, it's a really big decision I need to make and I need to think about it. Because I guess... Like, between the two say, Well, no. Between doing it uh, okay. at all. Because um, not only am I doing the PhD program, I'm also doing like a sort of certificate program because I want to get closer to the clinical side. No big deal. No so big deal. Like, yeah. I want to make sure... I can honestly say that very often when I was here as an undergraduate, I would just kind of be like, well, classes, let me just focus on my watch for yeah. a second, I'll come back to classes. But, you know, when I get to grad school, that's it. Like, yeah. it stops there in terms of schooling. I need to, you know, think carefully whether I want to, like, what I want to focus on. Right. Like, right. So are you going to have the What's going to propel my time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Am I going to have the time? And if I had the time, what do I want to do about that free time? Right. right. And then furthermore, also, I um, started to get a little bit of a footing in uh, remixing as well for the um, like Indian dance community. Oh, okay. Making uh, mixes for the um, different dance teams and that sort of thing. That's interesting. Paid. Mixing the, those bond or those Indian yeah, dance exactly. type musics with, you know, the ludicrouses and the... Yeah, uh, making mashups and, those and that sort of thing. Okay, so, yeah. uh, and it's solely those two? The, the only you only like mix no, no, no. Sometimes I do with dance. Sometimes I do South Asian with South Asian or like Western with Western. Like okay. I, do, I do whatever is. You know, what, what's your I what's your what's your DJ name? 
I didn't. Oh, DJ's remix. DJ's not remix. Not original. No, but, but still, we'll we'll post some stuff. Sri's done some amazing mixes oh, yeah, in the past, nice. and, and you've you've done it for um, for other groups as well, right? So people I have, pay yeah. you for this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's been a recent development. Yeah, because um, he's, he's this, so good. At I have it. this website on SoundCloud, and uh, um, on there I post a lot of my mixes, and some of the teams yeah. noticed it and were like, uh, like we'd like to work with you. And some of the teams that have worked with me in the past have been. Um, Rutgers, yeah. uh, SOS, and then University of Arizona, Om Shanti. Okay. And that's only going to grow as you... Uh, exactly, yeah. So that's actually another thing that... And then another uh, famous DJ in the area, Too Nice, has been interested in uh, okay. collaborating with me wow. almost permanently for the next few years. He's that's fantastic. Especially if I'm in the Philly area. So that's another thing. Oh, I'm he's excited. in Philly. He's in Philly. No, but he's going to be in the area. Okay. I'm not entirely sure, but I know he's trying to make like a like brand name label type of interesting, thing. Interesting, interesting. So, so you have so many passions. What are, What are you going to pursue going forward? Yeah, I'm mean? not sure. Well, I mean, you're going to pursue the PhD program. Obviously. Yeah, and I'd like to start sleeping more. Yes, that's so, okay. that's, I mean, um, people need it. It's a lost commodity in college. Absolutely, we can, we can survive for four years, but you know, you gotta be yeah, a bit sustainable. A bit much, yeah, bit much, bit yeah. much. Um, uh, so but, I gotta decide. Am I gonna do you know academics and? dance, I'm going to do music, I'm going to do all three. I tried doing all three this time around, yeah. and it's, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot. lot. But it sounds like dance is so embedded in you, right? Yeah. I mean, it's something that you've... It's you've like, why would, I, why would I be to? more lost without? Yeah. I'm not sure. So, well, okay, so tell us about this upcoming show. What's it called? On It's coming up on... What's the date? What? It's the 28th. It's at 7 p.m. April 20th. Solomon. I hope I got that right. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's yeah. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Solomon. On, uh, it's called okay. Hit the Floor. Uh, okay. That was a... That that name took a while to develop. Okay, uh, yeah. I think we went through a lot of names, but we finally hit on, landed on hit the floor. Hit and the floor. I think we're very happy with it. Okay. Uh, we've had like a trend of um, three name shows okay. in a row for several years, and I'm going to be able to, or I'm not going to be able to tell you what all of them are, but I can say what a few of them. They were like, tear it up, throw it down. Okay, so there's all these actions involved. Hit, hit the floor though, hit and the you, floor, guys are, yeah. you guys are, um, you guys are, you guys are performing. You guys are performing. This is the big performance you guys have. This is our big, big one, big by far one of the year. And so, so how many pieces will be in there? Uh, 12, 13? 13, and how many are you in? I'm guessing the majority. Five? Oh my gosh. So she's been practicing Not, like, like yeah. crazy, trying to get all those dance mixes up and all those... Uh, and do you make the music for every sh every piece as well? Uh, I did for about a year and a half, but oh now gosh. what it is is... um. I mean, I'm leaving. I'm graduating, so I'm handing it off. Yeah, I'm handing it off to uh, someone new. Well, I'm sure Brown DJ. will pay you in the future, if DJ uh, Shreem mix. Yeah, that's so. You know, I mean, the, yeah. they're they're gonna be looking for some DJs probably in the, to mix up their mashups. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, so this this one's your big one. This is the mea culpa. This is your last one here at Brown. How's, how does that make you feel? This last, this is your last bit of show. It's like whenever I uh, choreograph, go to practice, that sort of thing. It makes me sort of. I keep thinking of ideas and I'm just kind of sad because I'm like, oh, I want to put in this, but I can't put in this because yeah. I don't have any time. And then sometimes I decide to resign myself to the fact that this is the last one. This is it, and there's not gonna, there's not gonna be anything else. But it's gonna be amazing because you've been putting so much time into it. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And uh, fantastic. Uh, it's. I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest. Yeah. And so, um, so everyone, check out their their show. It's coming up uh, two weeks from to from from now. Mm -hmm. So the twenty twenty eighth, you said, or the twenty sixth. No, one week from now. One week from now, twenty seventh yeah. or twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. We'll put up a link for the Facebook event online, mm -hmm. um, the blog post, and everyone should check it out. Uh, a lot of Shree's hard work, and everyone be on the lookout for Shree's uh, Shree's many talents going forward. Oh, that is me. the entire team is so talented. They, they are. They are. They're they're an incredible team. We've got a lot of friends on there. But um, but yeah, good luck, and you've had everything with all these decisions you've got. And thanks so much thanks for coming on, Shree. Yeah, man. Absolutely.